Hello everyone, our drone Harris here from DVDScopy.com and in this video I am going to show you how to rip DVD movies using two free programs DVD Decryptor and RipBot 264 free tools and if you look below uh, if you're on YouTube you'll see the links to download uh, those two free programs and if you're on my blog website at DVDScopy.com then uh, you'll see the links there as well so just click on the link below and you'll be able to grab these two programs uh, and they are free so again we're gonna rip uh, a DVD movie using DVD decryptor and ripbot 264 so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and download and install both of the programs alright once you've done that then go ahead and launch uh, first uh, DVD decryptor and I've done that for you and that's what you're looking at right now your next step is to go and take the original uh, DVD movie that you want to rip to your hard drive and insert it into your DVD reader and uh, give it a few moments for the program to read it. Okay, and here it is. Now, once you're in here, the first thing that you want to go do is go over to the top here and go to mode and make sure that IFO or IFO is selected. Okay. Next, come over to the right and check on the Stream Processing tab and click on that and click on Enable Stream Processing. Now here we're going to be uh, unticking a few of these boxes here because you might not want some of this stuff. It all depends on what your language preferences are. Uh, if, you want, uh, if you don't want subtitles on your RIP DVD movie, go ahead and untick these here. And as you can see here, these are the English subtitles and the Spanish subtitle and uh, you may leave the other ones here checked. You can even get away with unchecking that one, but I'll leave it unchecked. Rather, I'll leave it checked. Okay? Once you've done that, but pay attention to the destination folder because this is where the ripped uh, movie is going to reside. And in my case, I have it pointing to my C drive. So the program itself is going to create a folder called, uh, the movie in this case is Guilty by Association, and it's going to create a directory by that name and a subdirectory. All right. Once you've done that, go ahead and click the start button. And uh, at this point, uh, DVD Decryptor goes through the process of ripping or decrypting uh, that DVD movie and is placing it into this uh, folder here. All right. So. Rather than have you watch this entire process, I'll go ahead and fast forward the video uh, up to the point where we're almost done with uh, the ripping process. And as you can see here uh, where it says time elapsed and time remaining, it's a fairly fast process. We're talking about uh, eight, seven minutes for to rip this full length uh, DVD movie. Okay, uh, at this point, uh, DVD Decryptor has uh, successfully ripped the DVD movie to my hard drive. And uh, let me click on this to dismiss this dialog window. And let me drag in here that folder. So there's that folder on my C drive. And here's the movie. And inside the movie, there should be a folder called video underscore TS. And inside that folder, you will see some IFO files and some VOB files and the file that we're going to focus attention upon is this very first VOB file and you know it's the first one because they're labeled as such one two three and four okay so our next step here is uh, that we're going to uh, convert this into another file format and we're going to use ripbot 264 to do that so your next step is to go ahead and uh, to close out this program and launch ripbot 264. You're looking at the RipBot 264 graphical user interface and the first thing here that you will want to do is go ahead and click on this add button down here or this add link. It's very small but click on that and then I want you to navigate to the location of the folder that uh, 
DVD decryptor had created when we ripped that movie. So in my case, it was on the C drive, so I'll go there. And there it is. Let's open that up. And let's open up the video underscore TS directory. And let's find the very first VOB file. So we'll click on that and then click open. And notice at the very bottom here, uh, RipBot 264 will go through the process of taking all of those other VLB files in that directory, and there were four of them, and it's going to combine them into one. And that's what you're looking at down here. So what are we going to use RipBot 264 for? Well, we're going to use it to convert that RIP DVD movie into one of these formats that you see down here below. You can convert that DVD movie into an uh, MP4 file or to an MKV file or to an HVCHD file or to a DivX Plus file, which is also an MKV file. In this uh, video, I'm going to convert it to an MKV file. And we can play back the MKV file in um, many of the various um, uh, media players out there. For example, VLC. So let's let uh, RipBot 264 run its course. It doesn't take very long for it to combine those VLB uh, files. We're talking perhaps uh, three to five minutes. So I'll go ahead and fast forward the video. And then I'll uh, give you some more instruction on how to set up this program to convert that ripped DVD movie. Okay, uh, all the options here are ungrade. So what you want to do next is go ahead and select the format that you want to save that ripped DVD movie in. And in my example, I am going to save it as a .mkv file. And let's walk through some of these settings up here just so you'll know what they are. Up here where it says video. This is the actual location uh, where uh, RipBot 264 placed the uh, files when it operated on them. So this is a temporary uh, directory. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, these files will be deleted. Profile. This is uh, basically asking you okay, how do you want this movie uh, uh, converted. So if you pull this down here, you can convert it to... Uh, some simple mobile device, an iPod, a classic, or Zoom to Apple TV to uh, play it back in a PSP format, to play it back in high definition in an iPod or an iPhone, high definition interlaced, progressive, or to a PC only. Uh, I am going to leave it here at progressive, uh, but I think these are self-explanatory because uh, let's say if I if I want to convert this uh, RIP DVD movie to play it back on my iPad. I'll select that and it automatically puts in the settings here for you. Okay, um, now I'm going to select the progressive mode. If you would have to select interlaced, uh, interlaced is basically saying uh, if you ever see, see a, a, a movie uh, that you've copied and you see that it uh, has lots of uh, square pixels on it, well, by selecting the interlace setting you're basically uh, improving that you're removing some of that so uh, I've never had to use it I used to keep mine at progressive and so that's what I'll do uh, these settings down here frame rates and everything don't worry about those mode where it says CQ I find that uh, it's better to leave it on CQ and select something between uh, 20 to 22 20 is a good compromise. This is basically a uh, constant quality is what that stands for. So your video is going to have a nice uh, even uh, look and sound to it if you select the constant quality. Audio is the same thing as the video section. Uh, this is just a temporary holding container. Uh, and so when RipBot 264 converts that the RIP video uh, along with the audio, it's going to make it put it in AC3 format. So you can leave this the same as well. The profile here where it says uh, X copy, this is associated with my selection down here of .mkv. Uh, pull this down, you have different uh, profiles here. I won't go through all of them. I just recommend that you keep it at the default uh, settings uh, unless you know what you're doing. 
Uh, these other settings down here, you don't really have to worry about. I would say leave those as they are as well. And some of these you can't select anyway. Now, it's almost hidden here, but you can also click on this and select uh, a cover. So say if you had a movie here and you went on to the internet and you downloaded a cover, you can click on this ellipsis here, navigate to that uh, cover you've downloaded it. It would have to be in a JPEG format and uh, select it and it will be included on your converted um, movie. Selectable subtitles over here. If you click on that, uh, you can add subtitles uh, if they were listed here. Okay. Now, once you've done all that, then your next step here is to go ahead and click the Done button. This output section is telling you where the uh, converted uh, movie is going to reside. And in my case, it's going to reside on my desktop. Okay. Next step, click Done. And then uh, once you've done that, uh, RipBot 264 is basically giving you another chance to go back and uh, change some stuff here. And you can do that by clicking Edit. It takes you right back. But if you're sure, you click Done and then click Start. And at this point, uh, RipBot 264 goes through the process of taking that ripped DVD movie that you ripped with uh, DVD Decryptor and it's going to convert it into the selection here uh, a .mkv file and we will be able to play back that uh, mkv file in a program called VLC video player and I'll include a link to that it's free it's a very powerful video player and uh, it will easily play back uh, these types of uh, movies with excellent quality so uh, this process takes a little longer than what uh, DVD Decryptor went through. And as you can see down here, it's giving us a uh, time or a percentage, rather, a, a progress percentage here. We're about 0.5%. And over to the far right here, uh, we're giving an estimated time of, uh, of completion here. So this could take uh, up to an hour, uh, perhaps two hours. And it's going to depend upon the um, processing power of your computer. And please understand, uh, yeah, this takes a little longer, but the reason why, they're free. You know, these programs are free, and you get what you pay for. So this is simply a free solution to rip a DVD movie to your computer and to convert it to uh, several different formats. Uh, you could buy some paid programs, uh, which I'll, I talk about on my blog, that does all this with one program, and it does it very quickly. But again, for those of you who are budget conscious and who don't have the money, the money rather, uh, this is an excellent uh, alternative. So what I'll do here, I'll go ahead and fast forward the video, and we'll get to the point where RipBot 264 is just about finished with the conversion. Then I'll play back uh, this movie in VLC uh, video players so you can see how good it looks. Okay, so I'll see you a little later. Okay, a uh, robot has just uh, alerted me that all jobs are finished, so uh, we're done. So let me uh, go to my desktop. I see the uh, MKV file there. Let me launch that so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm launching uh, that video using the VLC media player. And there it is. Looks very nice. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I'll have uh, the links to uh, DVD Decryptor, uh, RipBot 264, and the VLC Media Player uh, right below this video if you're watching this on YouTube. And they'll also appear on my blog at dvdscopy.com. Don't forget to visit the website. There's a whole lot of other great uh, articles there, uh, free guides, and software. This is our Jerome Harris uh, talking about ripping a DVD with RipBot and Deep Decryptor. Thank you for listening.